Warning, what you are about to watch is completely uncut gameplay of Snowfort Defense. Due to my extreme laziness, this video contains extended periods of complete nonsense. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, and welcome to Oh God, It's Raining. It's a brand new game on Game Jolt I just picked up, and I watched the short gameplay video, and I have to admit, I could not resist downloading this game. It looks completely mind-numbingly... I don't, I can't even have the word for it. Fun does not even begin to describe it. It's completely, it's really simple, and yet endlessly entertaining. Ah! I died. High score, 29. Highest in the world. Here, let me move my mouse out of the way. Woo! Almost died. You just control it with the arrow keys. There's no up or down motion, just left or right. And I am going to have to, once again, as in my previous video, or as with my previous video, Ooh, I can't even talk right- ah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna have to recommend that everyone pick this game up. It's completely free, and I'm also going to challenge everyone in this game, or with this game, to try to beat whatever I come up with a high score. I'm aiming for well into the couple hundreds, which is also what I said on Diggy Dig, and if you haven't watched that video, then just know that I did pretty poorly. I never actually... Ooh, and ah, I never made any real progress. Is 29 as high as I'm gonna get? I think the real problem though is the background because it's moving. It's so trippy. I keep losing track of the uh, brown objects, even though the pink ones are the ones that keep killing me. I don't even know what those are. I actually, you know what? All these troll faces. That's it. That's literally all they are because I've been keeping an eye on them. Ah, and that, as I just was right then. And they never actually come down low enough to hit you, so that's actually kind of funny. They decide to make the troll character the one that is actually literally trolling you in the game. The only two... Ooh. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh god! Oh Jesus! All you have to do is watch out for the brown ones and the, the pink-hatted brown... Ah, oh, I was screwed there. Really? 29 is as long as I'm gonna last? Alright, let's aim for one full minute of not dying. If I can hit one full minute, I will be very happy. And then it can be your goal, your personal goal. The highest goal you have in your life to beat me with 61 seconds. Okay. I'm getting there. I beat my, my previous high score. Those pink ones are just so fast. I have to like bug my eyes out just to be able to see everything. Oh god. Oh god. <gasps> ah, 45. I imagine this is probably going to be a very short video because while this game is pretty fun, the background music is really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> it's ah. It's like an endless loop of the same three sounds, which I guess is how most old games were, but I'm used to a, you know, a little bit more of a variety. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Oh. See what you did there? You tried to trick me with the troll face. These pink ones, I like keep accidentally missing them. I'm not even really trying to miss them. I'm just aiming not to get hit by the uh, brown ones. <gasps> ah! I saw that one. Yeah, I saw that one. Those troll faces are starting to irritate me now. I wish they would start coming down. Maybe, I wonder if like after a minute they do. That would be extremely trolly. Oh! You anyway, guys, I also want to mention in this video that I've been thinking about purchasing Subnautica to make a few videos on it. Possibly a review too, because that's actually a very big game that I, I've been thinking about getting for a while, and I would personally myself love to watch a review video on it. Ah, the one pink one got me. And if you haven't seen Subnautica yet, it's amazing. A lot of the larger YouTubers have been playing it recently. It's $20 on Steam. It went on sale maybe a week, two weeks ago for 15 I believe. And it's basically just a, it's a planetary survival, ah, planetary survival game. Kind of. Anyway, you, you land on a planet 
crash land on a planet, you have a huge ship, and you end up in an escape pod in the middle of what appears to be a completely ocean-covered planet with a bunch of weird creatures in the ocean and whatnot, and you craft stuff. You can eventually get submarines, you can upgrade your your little suit. A lot of fantastic stuff. It looks wonderful, but I'm having a hard time deciding if I should spend $20 on it because it is still in early... Ah, still in early access, I believe. And being is that I'm new to PC gaming, I'm always hesitant on early access games because I'm not 100% convinced that... Some one of my friends tried to convince me, but I'm not 100% convinced that if I were to buy early access when the game fully comes out, I'm still going to be able to get it. And I feel like it's not like you pre-order... Ah, bleh. It's not like you buy into the full game by buying into what is essentially the alpha, or, well, technically the beta version of the game. So anyway, I'm up in the air about it. I might get it, though. It looks extremely fun. I probably spend a decent amount of every day now watching people play it on YouTube. <laughs> and it does look fun. It would be the first game in a while that I've played simply for me instead of my YouTube channel. Although I'm sure I would definitely be willing to upload videos. Another thing to keep an eye out for, too, I'm not probably might not do... Woo! Oh, oh, I'm getting... Oh, I looked up at my score! I was at four, what, 44, 45? Uh, anyway, guys, another thing to keep an eye out for in the future is the first downloadable content pack for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is coming out, and while I haven't played any AAA titles on this YouTube channel recently, I am a season pass holder for that game on the, on the PlayStation 4, so I more than likely will be trying to get some content up, although I don't have permission. For, oh, whoa, that was an accident. Oh, I, oh, oh, I almost want an instant replay of that accidental dodge. Oh, well. Oh, hooray. Wee, wee, wee. I'm just going to go like this the whole time. I'm, that's my goal now. I'm going to see how... Oh, pfft. I'm going to see how far I can get without ever stopping. I'm never allowed to stop moving. Okay, come on, I can do this. Woo! Oh, this actually makes this game a lot more fun. Alright, I'm changing the, the challenge here. You have to try to get as high as you possibly can without ever not moving. Woo! Oh god, oh, oh, if I had been able to not move, I would have made it, but I can't. I can't not move because that's not part of the rules. Uh, what? Alright, that was my fault. I wasn't paying enough attention. For real now, for real this time, I am not going up. Oh, now, you know what? Cut that out. I'm going to remove that part from the video. Probably not, because I like to keep it real with you guys. My failures... I've been told are quite often hilarious. Whee! And I fail a lot. I always thought I was really good at video games, but I'm not particularly good at very... Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> I just want to get to 60. That's all I want. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm not particularly good at simple games like this. I'm not great at reaction time games. I'm better at straight up strategy type. I don't know. I play a lot of first person shooters, so I guess I can't say I'm not good at reaction time games. This is just a whole different level of reaction time. I'm not trying to beat the reaction time of another player. I'm trying to beat the re the, the movement ah, the movement of randomly generated objects and hundreds of them from the looks of it. And like I said, this game would not be so difficult if it weren't for the background. The stars in the background. It totally... Oh my god! Come on. Alright, for all the marbles here... This is it. This is it. I'm going to make it to 60 seconds. Oh, God. Oh, I almost got myself trapped there. 
Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god, I need to get it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I have to make it. Alright, last try. Absolute last try. If not, you guys have to beat 45 seconds. And either post a video or you can simply post an image because I will not believe you. This game is too difficult. As much as I believe you would never lie to me, I will not believe you if you tell me that you get here without any kind of proof. To 60 seconds. Or even 45 for that matter. This is not easy. I got to 45 on like the first time I ever played. Now I just can't do it. I just psyched myself out of it. Oh my god, there's like more troll f- oh! I'm just not gonna move. No, I have to move. I'm gonna move as little as possible now. Oh, I f didn't move enough! Alright. Now, I'm done. Li Are they moving sideways? Oh, they're not! Oh, I thought they were! It's that stupid background makes everything look like it's falling sideways. Should I keep moving? Ah, oh, that was a yawn. I keep moving to avoid the blocks because it looks like they're going sideways, but they're not. It's tricking me. Oh, that wasn't fair. They dropped a whole friggin' line of pink ones on me. Where was I gonna go? If I could move quicker, I'd be fine. Also, if I could use the W and D keys instead of my arrows to move, that would be great. So I would love to have one hand on one of the arrows and one on one of those two keys. Spread it out a little bit because my hand's getting tired of moving back and forth all the time. Alright, I feel good about this one. I'm at 26. If you play this, I would encourage you, strongly encourage you, not to look up at your score, because it's only going to end bad. No! Oh, I had it. Alright, for the 50th time, this is my last time. And I will actually stay true to this time thing. Promises that I have to keep. Go away, troll face. Oh! Oh, that's not fair! That is not fair. So it's like I only... Alright, I'm changing up my strategy. Instead of just watching the brown and then waiting for the occasional pink, I'm watching the pink because they move a lot faster, and then every couple of seconds I'm looking down to make sure I'm not also hitting a brown. Oh, and that just became extremely difficult with the increased number of things that are coming in. Ah, I made it to... What did I even make it to? It doesn't even tell me my score unless I got to 45 or higher. Am I at least close, guys? Please, tell me. I know you can hear me. I need a live stream. That's what I need to do. I need to... Ah! Brr! You know what? That was a sign. I'm not going to live stream. YouTube told me not to live stream by smacking me with a giant friggin' pebble of crap on this game. What are these ones with the pink? They have some kind of mohawk? Or are they flaming? I don't even know what's going on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm getting angry. This game is frustrating, actually. No one should ever buy this game. This game is really frustrating me now. Oh. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, my God. I have this stupid recording thing that's showing the waveform of my audio in the background, and I keep looking at it because it's interesting. And I'm very easily distracted, apparently. Come on. Come on. Come here. Remember, I... Oh, I saw it, and I couldn't decide. It was a deer in front of headlights. I couldn't decide whether to move left or right, so I tried both, and it didn't work. I just realized I'm a little person. I'm a little person. Is that an, I'm not even smiling. I'm not even happy to be here. Oh, I guess this would be extremely scary. In real life. Ow! I'm not gonna move. I'm done moving. Nope, oh, I move. I have to move. I have to move. I say I'm not gonna move. I say it's gonna be my last time, and I just can't stop. Oh, that's it. I'm done. Done with this game. I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
As so much as I enjoyed making it for you, pick the game up, try to beat 45, I dare you. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.